Now, if you didn't know, Shipment 1944 has been added into Call of Duty World War 2, and it's surprisingly a lot of fun. I actually loved Shipment from Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. It's one of my favourite maps of all time. And if you didn't know, you can actually get it for free on World War 2 now. So if you haven't already, then I'd definitely recommend going and play it. I'm not actually the biggest fan of Call of Duty World War 2. I'm Prestige 3. I made it there within like the first like two weeks or something. Um, and then I kind of just stopped playing the game. I, I'm not really a fan of this game in the slightest. I mean, it's an, it's an okay game. I just feel like it's too repetitive. And I'm not a fan of it. You know, with Black Ops 3, I played that. I, I played Black Ops 3 up until now. Like, to this day, I still play Black Ops 3 on a regular basis. But this game just died very fast for me. And I know a lot of other people feel the same. However, since Shipman was added yesterday, I played this for like uh, four hours, maybe. And I actually thought it was quite fun. I played with a few friends. And I enjoyed myself, but I thought the best way to make a uh, video on this would be to make an XP lobby. Because um, if you didn't know, on this map, you're going to be getting a lot of XP. And I thought I'd make a video on it. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be analysing what game mode you should play on this. Like, shipment, kill confirmed, or team deathmatch. How to use, what class setup you're using, what streaks to choose, and what basic training to, like, select. And everything like that. Now, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, definitely be sure to leave a like. Obviously, I don't really make a lot of uh, Call of Duty videos now. And, you know, I've kind of faded away from like, the whole tutorial thing. But I thought this would make a good video idea. And I kind of like making these videos. So, if you think a friend would enjoy this, then be sure to share with them. Um, subscribe if you're new. Dislike if you uh, hate the video or hate me. And, yeah. So, in terms of game mode for this, it's pretty obvious. Um, you're going to be wanting to spend the most amount of time on here. Now, I have done, like, little challenges and stuff to see what's the most efficient. It is definitely domination because kill confirmed goes so fast. Like, so fast. Now, kill confirmed on a normal map might actually go... Well, obviously, it, go, it goes slower because if you get a kill and, like, no one's going to get that tag, obviously, the game lasts longer. Any tag, any kill you get on this map, the tag will be confirmed. We played a game of kill confirmed, it ended within like two minutes, it's pretty awful. The same with Team Deathmatch, that ends in about three minutes. If you're wanting to play like a quick game, then definitely Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed is the way to go. But in terms of like maximising the amount of XP that you get, go for Domination. Now the difference with this game and all the other games is that Domination is one of the worst for XP. Usually it's pretty overpowered, you know, it's, it's okay, it's decent. In this game it is absolutely terrible, but with this map, since you're going to be dropping above 50 kills, each game it's okay obviously capping like the flags constantly i would definitely recommend going into this with a full squad maybe like i, I went into this with a free man but a full squad would probably be the best because then you use all different strategies someone can use an ar someone can use shotguns you can play it very smart but me and my friends we were just using whatever we wanted running around which isn't the most efficient but yeah you could definitely maximize this to your full potential now moving on to class setups i'm just going to be talking about how you should use each class setup how you should run it etc so first up is shotgun i would only recommend using the combat shotgun to be honest you know it's very overpowered the others aren't the best the combat shotgun definitely the best shotgun in my opinion or you could use a different shotgun it's up to you but the way to play this is to literally run through the center of the map try and play the center as much as possible the going into like each spawn you can find and just demolishing them that's what i was doing i got this gold uh, i never used this thing i got this i think i was on 51 shot one kills and i got it gold within like three or four games so it's pretty good so yeah i definitely recommend using the combat shotgun if you haven't just running fast pace just rushing people putting on the airborne division straight up just killing them instantly moving on to smgs you're just going to be playing the exact same with the shotgun but not getting in their face as much staying back a little bit more still running through the center of the map that's how i would play with an smg uh, that I was using the WAF after, the WAF Type 100. I managed to get Diamond SMGs, by the way, on this. I got three SMGs gold, but playing mainly how I did with the shotgun. However, if you guys are going to use LMGs or assault rifles, what I recommend doing is standing in the, like, the four corners, so you're like either on a C flag or B flag, or in the other two corners. Don't go into B flag, because if someone's got a shotgun, you're just going to die. At least if you stand in the corners, you've got a bit of distance to be able to take them down, using the barrels to like head cam or whatever now the most ridiculous thing on this map compared to what it was on modern warfare mastered there was only three streaks on modern warfare mastered if i remember rightly it was like the uav counter strike missile and the helicopter i hope that's right i, I think that's correct with world war 2 you've got power troopers they're fucking aids on this map because they've just got a lot more players in a small confined space it's pretty horrible but what i'd recommend doing actually is putting on the i can't say it use the is it requestions i can't say it, okay i just can't say it put that on 
Now, if you don't know what this actually does, is if you die, your streaks also carry over. So let's say I've got like 10 kills, and let's say I wanted to get like, a, uh, it was like 11 for power troopers. Well, when I die, I can still carry on, because my thing still carries on, but it's like double the score for power troopers. So let's say, like I said, power troopers, 11 kills on this is gonna be 22 kills. Okay, so yeah, it it's quite a bit more, but if you think about it, let's say like you can get at least 50 kills a game, you're going to get in paratroopers once, uh, the ball turret gunner at least once. Streaks that I would use though, would be the ball turret gunner, the paratroopers and the glide bomb, purely because there's not really much need of a UAV on this map. Obviously, if they spawn in, in certain areas, then like, uh, let's say like you wipe out the whole team, then you want to know where they spawn. Yeah, that's good. But someone else is probably going to be using a UAV already. So there's not really much need for you to use one. But that's what I like to use. That's the streaks that I was running. It was absolutely working fine for me. And some tips that I definitely recommend to use this would be to put on uh, a silencer if you're using the airborne division for SMG because that just means if you get a kill with the suppressor on the SMG you get another medal, that medal is obviously XP, getting you more XP, I don't think it's that much but it's still XP and going for camos is definitely the best for this because like I said I got 3 guns gold, okay that's a lot of XP, okay I, I haven't really... I got the WAF, which I already had like five headshots with, but that was it. I got that gold within like a couple games, you know what I mean? It's very good for getting camos done, and camos mean a lot of XP. So that's what I definitely recommend doing on this map. Do all the tips that I've given you guys today, and you should be able to get a very, very high level on Call of Duty World War 2. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you did like, be sure to leave a like, and leave some comments in the comments down below. I love reading comments, I love reading feedback, what I can do to improve my videos, what videos I can make. I am trying to upload frequently, just a lot of schoolwork right now, so I do apologise for that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, have a good day, and uh, I might see you in my next video.